than most two. I saw that. Okay. I saw that one. Like, that's not right. So let's try, let's try this one. This is a, this structure, what they're showing here, is they're trying to throw you off, okay? This is a product of a Lewis acid, Lewis base reaction, okay? So already you should be able to figure out, should, you should be able to figure it out, but let's kind of break it up into that Lewis acid, Lewis base portion. Can anybody figure out one of the two molecules that would have reacted with each other? And oxygen bonded to two uh, methyl groups yeah. with so, uh, one lone pair and a positive charge. Right. Well, let's just look at the molecule itself. Okay. It's going to have two lone pairs like that, okay? So that's, that molecule is called dimethyl ether. Notice the ether oh. functionality. Now we're going to draw the other molecule. And if you need to do, do it from its atoms, do that, okay? But this one's a little more regular. So every, everything's got its proper valence that you would expect it to have. And now what happens, remember these are becoming one molecule, so we have a Lewis acid, Lewis base reaction. Let's draw the me mechanism. Can we do that? Is that what you drew? Okay. So the product of this reaction is going to be what? Just oxygen bonding to the boron. Yeah, but what else does it have? A positive charge on oxygen and a negative charge on the boron. Yep, you're going to have to do your formal charges. not what they had on photo bucket, right? No. 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 Okay. So take a picture of this and post this on photo bucket and be like, be I'll put it on the camera. Wait, what? I was going to say something else, but I can't say the rest of it. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. Jeez. Except for the YouTube yeah. Any, any other, um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> any other questions on this one? Yeah. On this one. The first side. Uh, the, yeah, the, the reactant side. Yeah. Okay, so how did, how, okay, I'm just gonna phrase this. How come boron doesn't get the octet rule when you can put? So boron, its valence only has three electrons in it, its valence shell. So it's a non, um, it's one of those atoms that doesn't uh, fulfill the octet requirement all the time. It would prefer to have just six electrons. Which? Or the three electrons around it, whichever way you want to look at it. So all of that, you know. But it has an empty orbital, so it can't accept extra electrons. Here, think about it. I'm going to kill this video, OK? Unless you have your question right now.